Are you one of those guys that's being held back by their perfect mentality? And that perfect mentality creating an awful lot of fear-based thought processes, mindsets, and that's stopping you reach your absolute potential. In this video, we're gonna look at how you can break free of that mindset so that you can start showing up and start reaching more of your potential. So the perfect mindset is the trigger for procrastination and missed opportunities. And for a lot of men, they hold back on their potential because they never quite overcome that perfect mentality. The, the need for things to be absolutely all set in place and the stars aligned before they take action. This can be a real crippler for men because they have all of this potential as a success driven man, yet they cannot get over this hurdle inside of their mind to just go up and progress and show up and achieve the things that they want to. So in this video, we're going to look at why procrastination holds you back. We're going to look at the impact of waiting for that perfect moment. We're going to look at how to shift from perfection to progression. Then we're going to look at practical steps to overcome that perfection mindset. So one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about this is because the perfectionism mindset is one of the things that cripples me. And when I was thinking about it over the weekend, it's one of the things that has frustrated me the most because I procrastinated for two years before I even started working online. I've been procrastinating on reigniting my podcast before we did two months ago. And I've been procrastinating on redoing my YouTube videos all because of that perfect mentality. I wanted the business to be perfect before I started. I wanted the perf perfect website, the perfect platform, the perfect funnels, the perfect lead generation. I wanted the perfect studio with the perfect mic, with the perfect sound for my podcast. I wanted to have the perfect equipment for my YouTube videos. And then I just kind of got to thinking, just do it and then make it better. So there are two key factors to that perfection mentality one is fear based the other one is managing your expectations so the first one is based on fear right so fear comes about when we worry about what people think about the product in terms of worrying about us failing in terms of judgment and that was one of the key contributors to me not setting up the business in the first year or procrastinating for 18 months on restarting the podcast or waiting six months to do these YouTube videos. I was just too worried about what people thought. I was worried that the standard wasn't at where it needed to be. So I was working really hard on all of the thoughts and all of the planning to make it all perfect, but nothing was happening. There was no progress. You had nothing to listen to on the podcast. You had no videos to watch. I missed two years of business growth all because of that perfect mentality, because of that fear behind it. The second one was striving for perfection, set unattainable expectations. And the drive and the process to achieve those unattainable expectations led to an awful lot of burnout and an awful lot of frustration and an awful lot of stress. So a lot of people have this mentality when they're working on projects. They set these huge expectations. And in their life, they, in, in, in all men's lives, they have this expectation of, this is how I think I should be living my life. This is how I think things should be. And they're unattainable for the level of conditioning you're at in your life. And because you're pursuing them and not reaching them, there's this deficit between your expectations and what is reality. And because you keep looking and striving for that perfection, you're missing all the opportunities to grow at a micro level, 1% a day, every day, forever. Quite often, opportunities will come and go and you'll miss those chances that maybe you thought you had in the moment because you've waited too long waiting for a perfection mentality. So one of the impacts of having a perfect mentality is that stagnation. It's almost a halt of your personal development, your personal growth. Because you're waiting for the perfect action, you're missing out on those opportunities. Waiting to get the perfect CV, waiting till you think you're in perfect shape to go to the gym. Waiting two years before you start the perfect business or 18 months before you start your podcast again. That inaction, it can end up crippling you and halting your progression. Life very rarely offers a perfect setup. So waiting around for that perfect setup just means that you are gonna consistently keep waiting around for the perfect moment 
to start your next chapter, to start your mission, to get to where you want to be. Remember, perfect is almost impossible. There is no such thing. So we might as well learn how we're going to take those steps to move forwards and overcome that perfection mindset, which is what we're going to do now. So there are three steps that we have to take to inherit a progress over perfection mindset. So anyone that you've ever followed, anyone that you admire, anyone that inspires you, any successful person that you know has faced setbacks and imperfections, but it's what has created their success is coming back and bouncing back from that. And that's the first thing that we have to understand. That's the first point that we have to embrace is embracing imperfection. Imperfection is a natural part of your progression. Understanding that things are not going to go from A to B quite clearly every single time and that you're going to have to take C, D, E and F to get to your point. It's part of the growth, man. It's part of the process. The art of progressing and showing up is showing up at 1% a day, every single day. And understanding that those small steps are going to lead to something bigger. And that leads us into step two, taking tiny steps. Step number three, focus on progress. Focusing on small micro progress over a long period of time is far more valuable than sitting around waiting for the perfect moment and the perfect process. You can make huge progress having this mindset. Small chunks of progress over seven days, over 28 days, over 12 weeks, over 12 months. And that was the key mistake that I made in terms of starting this business back in 2015, in terms of reigniting my podcast and these YouTube videos. So what are those steps to practically overcoming that perfect mindset? So the first one is something that I tell my guys to do all of the time. Anyone that's working with me, it's the number one rule. And it's having a life mission. Now, if you're just starting out on your journey, that life mission is about seven days. What's your life mission over the next seven days? When you start conditioning yourself and working with us longer, you can then understand how to build 28 day missions, 12 week missions, six month missions, 12 months, five years, moving forwards, right? So having that mission allows you to be able to have something to aim for, okay? Be able to break down that seven days into seven micro wins that allows us to win. Practical step number two is to adapt the 1% a day, every day, forever mentality. Meaning that remember the bigger picture about what you're trying to achieve. The perfection mindset wants you to achieve everything as soon as physically possible. But that doesn't happen because this is a, now a journey. This is a process. And this process, if you allow it to be, will stay with you for the rest of your life as you continuously improve yourself over a long period of time. So number three is recognize and celebrate those small wins. Don't wait until you got to the final mission to celebrate you winning. It's important to recognize the work that you're doing and actually you taking imperfect action is the win. You moving forwards in 1% a day is the win. And if you don't recognize that, you'll think everything you're doing is just not good enough. Recognize the achievements, recognize the wins. In summary, that perfect mentality of yours is going to cost you your potential. It's going to cost you inaction. It's gonna cost you time, frustration, and stress. We've got to be able to learn to surf the wave. We've got to be able to adapt to the curveballs. We've got to be able to have the mindset and resilience to be able to overcome that perfect mentality. Because if you can, the small steps, the progressive mindset, it's going to take you to places in your life you haven't been. You're going to find elements of fulfillment you haven't felt. And ultimately, your family, the people around you, your career, yourself is going to turn around and thank you. So if you need a place to know where to start, you can start by watching this video. And it gives you mission basics of the top three things that you should be doing when you're showing up. That's going to help you achieve your mission overall.